going to taste the lantern diffuser and I will also uh, show you how to assemble it and I will also tell you what's the what's my first impression of the product. Um, I've been using this, I received this product a week ago and so I have been using this for a week now but I'm go I, I'll just want to show you uh, what's, what, what to expect when you first receive it. Okay, uh, just a heads up, um, I'm not sponsored by Young Living. I bought this one from my own pocket. The reason why I bought this is because for the longest time, my friends are convincing me to buy the product because it's really effective. But I did not really believe them because I'm not into oils and stuff like that. Since my son and my husband has allergic rhinitis, and they say and they say that this one is really effective for um, allergies and asthma, then. I'll just try it. So I bought it. Um, honestly, I'm not a member yet. I just bought the lantern and some oils just to try out. And I was hoping that when I bought it, it will work. And I think I did. <laughs> okay, so what to expect when you when you first receive your box? So this is the box, and it has. Of course, the manual and air paper. These these uh, containers. The this one contains the oils. Usually put it on this one on a tube. And this one is lemon. And this one, the purple one, is lavender. These two, they say is for good night sleep. So that's it. And I also have another one, but I removed the oil on this one already. I bought the Raven and the RC. These two, they say is for asthma, for allergic rhinitis. Okay, so that's what I got. And here it is. Of the lantern. So, this small box here is for the power cord. And for me, the quality of this lantern is really good. It's high quality. It's made of good quality metal and high quality. Glass. So it's made of glass and metal. So here it is. It's so pretty. It's really pretty. It's my friend said said I should get this lantern because it suits my personal. Well, I guess it does. Okay. So this is the diffuser inside the lantern. And this okay. That's how it looks like. It has um like an indicator here that this is this is where you should put the you should not go beyond this point in you should not go beyond this point for your water and for the oil. Okay, so I'll show you how to assemble this one. Okay, so this is my first, since this is my first time, I don't really know what's the feature of other users of Young Living. But for me, this is, I think, this is the most fun. Okay. Oh no, <laughs> I have to remove them. this one first. I should put water first. Water and oil, depending that this one is enough. Then, okay, so 
So let's cover it. Okay, so this one is a power button. The other one, I hope that you can see it. The other one is for the light button. So you can choose whatever uh, color of light or what type of light you like. Okay. When you first press it, that's how it is. So I hope that you can see it. That's the strongest. It will last you for five to six hours. And if you press the power button again for the second time, this would be like the slower type. It will last for like eight hours. And if you press it for the third time, this would be the intermittent type of diffusing. So it will last you for like 10 hours of diffusing. Once the water is consumed, this lantern will automatically turn itself off, but the light will still be there. And so this is good for a night light. So let's choose a different light. Okay, this one is my favorite and my son's favorite too because this one looks like it's a flickering candle. Okay. This one, uh, it rotates its color, all of the seven colors, I guess. And then the one. father-in-law's room. I didn't tell them what oil I, I use and in the morning I asked them what was their expression, uh, impression, um, how was their sleep and then they said that they really had a good night's sleep. Um, I put the lavender and the lemon oil uh, during the night and I guess it disinfected to them. Okay for the Raven and RC, I actually use this one every night before my son sleeps. And for me, it did not really solve my, the, my son's sneezing problem. It did not really cure his problem, but it has lessened it. His sneezing is not as worse as before. So I guess this one is effective, but um, it will not really solve the problem. So I guess if it will lessen some of his things, I guess it's good enough for me. And it's natural, so it's okay. And for the for my own experience for the lavender and for the lemon, I would say that it really is effective. But when my friends would ask me if it is really effective, I would say, how would I know? I was asleep the whole time, so how would I know if it is effective if I'm asleep? But it's just a joke. And yes, it, it really is effective. Um, even my youngest son, he is uh, two years old. He, is, he really has a good night's sleep whenever I use this one now. Um, for the oil, uh, I usually use 10 drops of oil. What they say, it really depends on the size of the room and really depends on on the capacity of the diffuser if it can accommodate them. But I usually use the strongest uh, the strongest dosage, which is 10. And I think it, it really it really is worth um, worth the price. It really is very pricey. Uh, I, I would be honest, it's, it, the price is not for everyone. But if you are into natural remedy, if you are into um, non-chemical type of oily, then you have to go for this. You just have to you know, save money for this. And if you have any questions regarding membership, I will have to ask my friend about it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm not a member. I'm not a member yet. And 
But if you have any questions about how and how, how's my our experience about this, um, you can just leave a comment down below. And thank you for watching, and I hope you learned from me. Bye.